made easy. Our topic for today is Introduction to Algebraic Expressions. Okay, let's start. When we write a general rule for a number pattern, we use letters called variables. The word variable is used because the value of the letter can vary or change depending on the pattern. Look at this pattern. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equals to 3 times 1. 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equals to 3 times 2. 3 plus 3 plus 3 is equals to 3 times 3. T plus T plus T is equals to 3 times T. A variable stands in place of a numeral. T is a variable. It can stand for any number and t plus t plus t is equal to 3 times t will still be true. Algebraic expression. t plus t plus t and 3 times t are examples of expressions. An algebraic expression is a representation that involves variable, numbers, and operation symbols. Here are some examples of expressions using variables. First is 3 times a is written as 3a and x times b is written as ab. x divided by 5 is written as x over 5 and a divided by b is written as a over b. 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 is the same as 4 groups of 3 to 4 times. Next is, uh, so y plus y plus y plus y is the same as 4 groups of y or 4y. 2 times m is equal to 2m. y times 6 or 6 times y is equal to c, 6y. 2a divided by 3 is equals to 2a over 3. And 5 times a times b is equals to 5ab. Take note, when a numeral is multiplied by a variable, the numeral should be written first. Remember, m squared is equals to m times m. In the same way as 7 times 7, is equals to 7 squared. m squared is read as or written as m squared and 7 squared is read as 7 squared. Example, 5 times k is equals to 5k. a times b times a is equals to there is 2a, so it's a squared b. Next is a divided by 7 is equals to a over 7. 3 times x times y is equals to 3xy. 6 times open parenthesis c plus 7 close parenthesis is equals to 6 close open open parenthesis c plus 7 close parenthesis next is 5 times b divided by 8 is equals to 5b over 8 another is c times d divided by e times f is equals to cd over ef another is 3 times 2m is equals to 3 times 2 times m, which is equals to 6m. Next is 4 times 2a times b is equals to 4 times 2 times ab. So it's a 8ab. Next is 6 times 3c times 10 is equals to 6 times 10 times 3 times C, which is equals to 180C. 
take note. If we multiply something by 1, the product does not change. For example, 1 times n is equals to n times 1 is equals to n. Therefore, 1 times m is equals to 1m or simply m. Substitution principle. To complete a table of values, we replace the variable in the formula with a number. Replacing a variable with a number is called algebraic substitution. To substitute means to swap or to put in place of. After substitution, the value of the formula can be worked out and this is called an evaluation. To evaluate means to find the value. Example, complete the table below using the formula D is equals to 2A minus 5. So, we have uh, the values of A, which is equals to 5, 8, 4, 10, 12, and 9. So, we solve for the value of D. Since, so the solution, we substitute the value of A by 5, 8, 4, 10, 12, and 9 in the formula. What's the formula? It's given D is equals to 2A minus 5. So first, we substitute A by 5. So D is equals to 2 times 5 minus 5 is equals to 10 minus 5 is 5. Next is we substitute it by 8. So 2 times 8 minus 5 is equals to 11. Next number, 4. So 2 times 4 minus 5 is 8. Next is 10. So 2 times 10 minus 5 is 15. Next is 12. We substitute 12. 2 times 12 minus 5 is 19. Another is 9. Lastly is 9. 2 times 9 minus 5 is 13. So we write the answer. If A is equals to 5, D is equals to 5. If A is equals to 8, D is equals to 11. If A is equals to 4, D is equals to 3. And if A is equals to 10, D is 15. If A is 12, D is 19. And if A is 9, D is 13. Okay. Another example. Complete the table below for Y is equals to 3X minus 1. So, we have the table. What's the solution? Y is equals to 3X minus 1. So, this is our formula. And we substitute this X to find the value of Y. So, first is 1. So, 3 times 1 minus 1 is 2. Next is negative 2. 3 times negative 2 minus 1 is negative 7. Next is negative 5. So 3 times negative 5 minus 1 is equals to 16. Next is 0. So 3 times 0 minus 1 is negative 1. Next is negative 1. 3 times negative 1 minus 1 is negative 4. And lastly is 7. 3 times 7 minus 1 is 20. We complete the table. If x is equals to 1, y is equals to 2. If x is equals to negative 2, y is equals to negative 7. And if x is negative 5, y is negative 16. If x is 0, y is negative 1. And if x is negative 1, y is negative 4. And if x is 7, y is 20. Okay, next, making sense of algebraic expressions. These models will help us understand the use of algebraic expressions. So we have here one, this uh, uh, circle or oblong as one counter, cube x 
as x counters, y cube as y counter. So first the model, so in this is the example. So one cube x and three oblong. So this will be x plus three. So that's all our algebraic expression. Next is 3x. So x plus x plus x is equals to 3x. Next is 2x plus 1. So x plus x plus 1 is 2x plus 1. Next is x plus 1 and plus x plus 1 is equals to 2 times x plus 1 or simply 2x plus 2. Next is we have 2 plus x plus x plus x. So that will be 2 plus 3x. Next is y plus y plus x plus 1. So we have y plus y. So that would be 2y plus x plus 1. Okay. These models will help us understand the use of algebraic expressions. Okay. Again, another so again, so our model, we have 2x and 2y. So our, our algebraic expression is 2x plus 2y. Next is 2x plus 2y. But this time with parentheses, still the answer is 2x plus 2y. Another, xy plus xy. So xy plus xy is equals to 2x plus y is equals to 2x plus 2y. Next is x plus 2 plus 2x plus 3 is equals to 3x plus 5. Next is 1, 2, 3, 3y plus 1, 2, 2 plus 3. So 3y plus 5. And lastly, 1, 2, 3x plus 2y. Okay. Okay. Again, this is Teacher Gang. And I hope you learned from our lesson for today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.